Okay, and we are recording. All right, uh, so welcome everybody um, to Math 120, Fundamentals of College Mathematics. Uh, this is section 1013. Um, and uh, let's, uh, let's go over the syllabus first. That's always the main thing to do on the first day of class, even though it's the most boring thing. Um, I am, my name is uh, Dane Bartlett. I am a graduate assistant here at UNLV. Um, so you can call me Dane or Mr. Bartlett, Mr. B, whatever you are comfortable with, that's fine for me. Um, my office location is CDC 902, though that is not going to be uh, relevant this semester. Um, office phone is there, um, though again, that probably is not relevant this semester. The best way to contact me is through my email, which is at uh, bartld1 at unlv.nevada.edu. Um, and I did uh, did this in all caps because there was both an L and a 1 in my email, which is hard to distinguish if it's lowercase. Um, the web page that we're going to be using just to coordinate everything is Web Campus. And for this semester, uh, my office hours are going to be Monday and Wednesday from uh, 4.15 p.m. to 5 p.m. and Tuesday, Thursday from 5.45 p.m to 6.30 p.m. And if you have to contact the department for any reason, the mathematical department or the, uh, let's see, the official name is the Department of Mathematical Sciences, then their information can be found here, uh, both their phone number and their webpage, which has uh, contact information for both the department in general and as, as well as a, a list of instructors. So, um, Again, this one is uh, section 1013. Uh, we'll be meeting Tuesdays and Thursdays remotely from 4 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. And uh, just to reiterate, I am going to be uh, recording lectures in case there is any internet connectivity issue either on my end or on your end. And that way, uh, if there is an issue, you can still uh, see the lecture. Okay, so the course description this course, uh, this is basically what we will be covering this semester. Uh, we'll be looking at real numbers, consumer mathematics, uh, variation, functions, relations, and graphs, geometry of measurement, uh, probability and statistics, set and logic. And uh, in general, this is all going to be a very broad course, uh, very broad in scope. We're not going to go into too much depth into any particular topic. Um, I'm not going to worry about the prerequisites. You are in this course, so you have the prerequisites. Uh, course material, we're going to be using the um, textbook Using and Understanding Mathematics, seventh edition. Should look something like this. Um, let me see if I can center that. Should look something like this um, if you buy it at the bookstore. Uh, the author is Bennett and Briggs, and the publisher is Pearson. We are also going to be using the uh, Pearson MyLab and Mastering account for homework and quizzes. Um, so you will need to have an account with them. Uh, if you have bought, uh, purchased a, a new book from the bookstore, it will include, or, or it should include a Pearson account. Uh, if you bought a used book or haven't bought a book, um, I'm not sure about the digital books, but if you haven't, if you've bought a used book, then uh, you'll probably have to purchase your own account with that. And uh, we're going to be uh, allowing calculators in this course. So you can use, um, well, the uh, the two calculators that are recommended is the t uh, Texas Instruments uh, TI-30X2S or the Casio FX300 ES+. Um, I have one of those here. It's the... Uh, the Texas Instrument one, the TI one. Um, but really for this course, I will allow any uh, non-programmable calculator. So it has to be non-programmable and non-graphing calculator. Um, though I would recommend, again, I would recommend those two calculators. Uh, this TI, TI one especially is very nice since it has an answer key. Uh, some of these non-programmable uh, uh, four function 
calculators do not have the answer key, which can get a little bit annoying in some of the later chapters that we'll be covering. Um, but uh, if you have anything that is uh, non-programmable and non-graphing, that will, that will work just fine. Um, let me check with you guys. Are there any questions up to this point? And you can either say in the audio if you're comfortable enough or type in the chat. I am keeping my eye on the chat. Okay. Uh, yes, I see a question from Michelle. Uh, and I see another question in chat. Are the meetings mandatory? Yes. Uh, um, oh, sorry, go ahead, yes. Michelle, I, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, getting uh, wound up here. I took the 95 last semester mm. and uh, I noticed that when uh, I, I went ahead and bought the, the materials uh, from the bookstore ahead of time, and I noticed that when I went to Pearson Lab uh, to put my code in, that I could have bought it at Pearson Lab for about half the price. Is, is it okay if we do that, if we go to that Pearson on, online thing and just buy it directly from them? That is a good question. Um... And, and so what do we need? What well, code okay. do so, we need so, to get the right thing? Um, that, that is a good question. I'm going to say, OK. <laughs> um, in general, I am going to ask you to read the sections in the textbook. Um, I believe that the uh, My Math Lab includes a digital copy of the textbook. So if you want to use that instead of the hard mm -hmm. copy, that is perfectly fine with me as long as you're reading it. And so if you want to purchase it on uh, that account um, through their website and use the electronic book uh, or the ebook, then that's perfectly mm -hmm. fine with me as long as you're reading it. Um, so hopefully that answered that question. Um, I think there was another question in there okay. with, uh, was there another question, sorry, that you had? Uh uh, you mean me personally? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. It, I I just wanted to let you know that I'm I'm doing the Zoom on my phone today because I'm still having trouble getting it sorted onto the um, school computer uh, to get signed in that way. Um, oh, okay. So anyway, I but my phone account I. I think it goes by Michelle Anonymous, but my last name is Fairbairn in case you're confused as to okay. um, um, that I am a student. All right, thank, thank you for that clarification. Um, if you can, uh, in, in the chat there, well, actually, no, that, that, let's not do that. If you can just um, send me an email just with that information so I don't forget and I'll, I'll make a note of that. Um, let's see, there were oh, okay, another thanks. couple of books. Uh, sorry, yeah, another a couple of questions. Uh, meetings are mandatory. Um, I am going to, again, I'm going to record lectures. I understand that for some, some students, you might not be able to attend all days. That's fine if you have to miss a day or two. Um, so uh, I will be recording lectures, um, but it is, uh, I, I would recommend that you attend both days. Uh, let's see, I thought I saw a couple of other books. Uh, is there an ebook? Yes, so that's the one with the My, uh, My Math Lab account. So it does come with an ebook. And again, if you want to go that route, you're, that's fine with me. Um, just uh, make sure that you're reading the, the textbook. Um, let's see. And I see uh, someone in, in, in there has, has a hand as well. So I'll, I'll come to you in just a moment. I just want to catch up on these, these uh, questions that were typed in chat. Uh, if your book is arriving between today and the 22nd, that should be fine. Um, I, I realize this, the, the first week of the semester is usually pretty, um, is usually pretty intense, pretty chaotic. Uh, if, you, if you don't receive your book, uh, by this weekend, or if you do receive your book this weekend and you still need more time to work on the homework, 
just let me know and I'll extend the homework for you. Um, a scientific calculator, you can, as long as it, again, it has to be non-programmable and non-graphing. So any calculator, even a scientific calculator, as long as you cannot program it and you cannot graph on it, then that is acceptable. Um, the first name, last name, uh, for the first couple of weeks, I would prefer that just so that I can uh, get to know you guys uh, and verify that you are on the, on the rolls. Um, after that, as long as there's not someone that shares your same first name, uh, maybe first name would be fine. Uh, same textbook from Math 95, I am not sure, to be honest. I, um, I do not know. All I know is that the one that we're using is this, uh, using an understanding mathematics seventh edition. So if this is the one that the 95 class used, then yes. If not, then no. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, good question, office hours. Um, that is a good question. Let's go to the office hours real quick. Uh, so here on web campus, uh, when you log in, this is what you should see something that looks like this. Uh, if you scroll down here under the course introduction, there is going to be a lot more modules for each week of, of class. Um, I just have to adjust some things here and there. So those aren't visible to you guys yet, but um, here is office hours digital. So if you click on that, there is another Zoom link here uh, for office hours. And office hours, really, it's I have an open door policy. If you need to meet with me, then you can just sign in. Again, just make sure that you use your first name and last name as it appears on, on the enrollment, at least for the first couple of weeks. Uh, so I can make sure to, to uh, verify that you are on the, on the roster. Um, if you cannot meet during my office hours, there are some times, not always, but there are some times that I might have uh, time available outside of office hours for a given week. Um, so if you cannot come to office hours and you still wanna meet with me, then send me an email. Uh, I'll let you know if I have time on that specific day, say um, in the email, um, I can't make your office hours. Do you have any time on say Thursday? And if I do, then I'll, we'll find a time that works. If not, then we'll find another day that works. Uh, and that will also be a Zoom meeting, but because that won't be uh, official office hours, it'll be a, a link I'll send to you guys. Uh, so there is that, I think. I think I got most of the questions. Uh, just one last one, Professor, if it's not too much trouble. Yes, go ahead. Um, so my name <laughs> says RJ Williams. Uh, my name on the roster is Robert. Just want to let you know. I'll send you an oh, email okay. with uh, all the info, but just letting you know. Perfect, thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, if, if anybody, if your name is not the same as on the roster, if you can just type in chat, uh, what your first name and last name is as it appears on the roster, that will be fine. Um, All right. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, one more question. I took Math 96 last semester. Oh, um, that question, I think you'd have to ask your advisor, your academic advisor. Um, that is, it depends on, uh, usually, well, I don't want to say that. For some, for some universities, it depends on, um, on the major that you are, uh, your major and minor uh, will greatly depend, uh, greatly uh, define what classes you need. So I would check with your academic advisor just to make sure, uh, since that's going to depend on what major you are. Okay, let's uh, go back to the syllabus then. Um, and again, if you have any questions as I go along, you can just um, either use the audio if you're comfortable with that. If not, uh, type in chat. I am keeping my eye on chat, uh, so I'll answer questions as they show up. Uh, the author of the book, there are two authors. Um, it is uh, Bennett and Briggs, and that should be here on the syllabus as well. Uh, yeah, so Bennett and Briggs here are the authors for the textbook. Okay, good question so far, excellent. All right, um, let's continue. And again, if you, if you do have any questions, just go ahead and stop me and we'll, uh, we'll address those. 
Uh, the special Hi, note. Yeah. Oh, yes, go ahead. Yeah, uh, you said that we're not allowed to use graphing calculators for this class. Yes, that's correct. Okay, just making sure. Yep, any, any, um, any calculator that is non-graphing and non-programmable, I will accept. So, um, okay, uh, the special note here, this um, usually for, for the regular semesters, the math department would come in and have a, a presentation. I'm not sure if they're going to do that digitally or not, but that's just what the special note is on. Um, if they do, then that will be fine. They'll just come in and, and uh, give their presentation and then leave. Uh, but that's not, not anything to worry about there. Uh, evaluation and grade assignment. So this is probably the most important part of the syllabus, I would say. Uh, this is a breakdown of how your final grade is going to be calculated at the end of the semester. Um, so we have several different categories. Um, we we'll have a mini project, a reading check, homework. Uh, we'll have three in-class tests, uh, three major projects and the final exam. So those are the categories that we are going to have for the grades. 10% uh, of your grade will be through mini projects. 3% uh, will be the reading checks. 7% uh, is the will be uh, from homework. And then 10% each from the in-class tests and the uh, uh, main projects. And 20% from the final exam. Um, so you can think of this class, uh, we, we are breaking this class into three parts. We'll have part one, which is usually called theme one, part two, theme two, part three, theme three. And for each one of those, we're going to have a, a project, a group project, which will be the main project, 10%, and then a test, which is 10%. Um, the reading checks, uh, so let's go through that. The mini project. Mini project is going to be, uh, it, well, before classes went remote, it was uh, on in-class kind of thing. Uh, but now since we're, we're going remote, uh, that's going to be like a, a mini quiz on uh, web campus. The reading checks are just a two question, um, two question quiz essentially on web campus, on not web campus, on Pearson, on the My Math Lab uh, to check to make sure that you're reading the material. So basically you read through the, the uh, section that we're going over and I don't necessarily care if you read through it before class or after class, just as long as you're reading it. Uh, and then I would recommend after that to uh, do the reading check. Again, it's uh, two short questions to make sure that you are reading through the textbook. Um, homework is pretty self-explanatory. And then the uh, tests and the projects. Okay, um, the final exam for this course is scheduled for Tuesday, May 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, the final exam is cumulative, which means that any questions that we discuss from uh, the first, cha uh, first chapter through the uh, I believe the last chapter we are going through is chapter nine, uh, but we are skipping some some chapters here and there. Uh, could could appear on the on the final exam, uh, and you will have two hours to complete that. Um, in general, the it is it is um, in general the the department does not allow rescheduling for the final exam, unless uh, you have a very uh, concrete reason for missing it. So make sure that you mark on your calendar Tuesday, May 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and have that free. Okay, so that is how your, your final grade is going to be calculated. That is going to give you a percent at the end of the semester. Um, hey, Professor. Uh, yes, question. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Um, oh, no, it's all right. So these, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, 
the projects, these are group projects or solo projects? Uh, they will be group projects. Um, so what we're going to do. Yeah, uh, how exactly is that going to work? <laughs> so that's a good question. Um, what, what we will do, what I will do is uh, I will split the class into, I would say, groups of four, um, four or five, depending on which project we're working on. Uh, which um, there is a there is a place in Web Campus I'll show you that that has groups, or there there should be. Um, and then for uh, class, if we have extra time, which we should have extra time as we go through, uh, then um, I will split the Zoom meeting into different rooms and put you into the specific room with your group members. Uh, and, so meet there. Um, and also on on the uh, on the group level, let, let's check that really quickly here. That is different from what I had at last semester, so I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to adjust that. Um, but there should be there will be a tab here that has either a group or people, and uh, you'll have your own. Uh, web campus page as well. So you can coordinate uh, meeting outside of class if you need that time. As okay, well. perfect. That's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's see, you will be able to use notes on quizzes, but not on the exam. So you can use your notes on quizzes, but not on the exam. Uh, can we choose group members? Let's say, okay. If you if there is somebody that you want uh, to be in a group with, uh, send me an email. Um, not this week. Let, let's uh, when when I when we start talking about the major uh, group project, send me an email, and I will I will try to accommodate that, but I cannot guarantee that. So, if you do have somebody you want to work uh, work on the group with or work on the project in a group with, uh, send me an email. Let me know, and I will see if I can coordinate that. Um, but we'll we'll see what happens with that. Okay. Any other questions up to here? Let me make sure I didn't uh, miss any in the chat here. Oh, good. So we have some coordination on the Pearson account. That's good. Okay. And I'm not hearing any other, any other questions, so we'll continue. All right, so um, after you get this percentage from these categories, it's gonna give you a percentage between zero and 100, and the letter grades will be uh, assigned according to the scale. So an A is a 93% to 100, an A minus will be a 90 to a 93%, uh, B plus uh, will be an 87 to a 90, a B an 83 to a 87, and so on. So that is uh, where your letter grade will be coming from. So after after the uh, the categories are calculated, which you will be able to see in, in uh, Web Campus, Web Campus will will do this in real time. Uh, then you'll you'll be able to see what your letter grade would correspond to. Um, one important note here: extra credit will not be permitted on the final grade or exam. And actually in general, in this course, in my course, there is no extra credit given. So I'm gonna ask you guys a question, but you can type the answer in the chat. Uh, is there extra credit in this course? No is correct, excellent. And there was a question right there. Um, Quizzes, let's see. Quizzes will not be curved exams. I'm not going to curve exams. <laughs> um, I'm not going to curve exams, but uh, what we will do for exams, there will be a, uh, an assignment for the exam where you will uh, upload your scratch paper, your work for the exam, and I will give points for work towards the correct answer. So on, on web, web campus here, it will either mark the answer as right or wrong. But if, as long as you're sending, uh, so when you take the exam, you're gonna write, write uh, what is the question? And then hopefully clearly in certain steps, write down what, um, 
what your steps are, circle the answer and do that for every problem. And then when you have finished the exam, you will uh, submit that to web campus and I will go through and give any, any um, uh, I will give points if I can for work towards the correct answer. Uh, let's see, mini projects. Uh, mini projects are basically like quizzes, yes. Um, with the quizzes, uh, the, the mini projects, the reading checks, the homework, um, these three categories, you can get help uh, from your classmates. You can get help from a tutor. You can ask me for help. Um, that is perfectly fine. You can use notes on these. Um, That's perfectly fine. Uh, Uh, not on every assignment, no. Uh, so with the assignments, uh, you can submit the assignments more than once. Um, so if you're working through and you either messed up on a, on a part or it did not get input correctly, then you can go back and change that. With the exams, you won't be able to, which is why I need to see the uh, work for that. Although it is a good habit to get into uh, with, having, with uh, writing your work as you go along. That way, if you have any questions and you can show me what your work is, it's easier to assess uh, where things went wrong than if not. Um, okay, yeah, so just to reiterate, extra credit will not be given in this course. All right. Uh, yeah, so the, so the mini projects are basically like quizzes. Um, we'll be quizzes associated with what we what we uh, talk about in, in the course. OK, let's continue on. So the learning outcomes, um, there are four overarching themes in this course. Uh, using mathematics to reason and answer questions. Uh, that's what we will uh, be starting with, although that is going to be a main uh, theme throughout the entire semester. Financial and practical numeracy, uh, using mathematics and st statistics to model life, and mathematics and arts and politics. Although uh, this fourth one won't be as stressed as the previous three. And the specific outcomes will be addressed in the, at the beginning of each theme. So again, we're thinking of the themes as uh, pieces of the semester. So theme one is just the first part of the semester. First, um, I believe it's uh, three or four weeks of the semester. And then theme two will be uh, week five through, I think, week eight. OK. Uh, attendance is mandatory component of all, uh, all on-campus classes and will be taken daily. So for our attendance today, um, if you would be so kind, just type into the chat uh, here. And I will be able to see that um, the uh, Zoom uh, records the chat, so I'll go through and be able to see that you're here. Thank you. Um, calculators, so again, uh, the, the calculator that you are allowed to use uh, is, well, any calculator that is non-programmable, uh, non-graphing calculator. And again, the one recommended that I, that I really like is the uh, TI-30X2S. Um, but as long as, if, as long as your calculator does not um, allow programming and does not allow graphing, then that's fine. Um, homework, okay, so let's, let's talk about homework. Uh, this semester, um, there is a tab here. This, this might be different from some of your uh, previous courses if you have taken uh, this, this uh, 120 course in, in the past. Uh, but this is linked, uh, Web Campus is linked to Pearson. So if you click on the My Lab of Mastering uh, tab here on Web Campus, then this will uh, open up uh, the Pearson link. And uh, when you follow the prompts here, it will sign you into the correct class on the My Math Lab uh, website. And if you want to see the specific steps for that, that is the uh, student registration handout uh, document here. So this goes through, this is from the Pearson website. Uh, so you sign into your Canvas account and enter the, well, enter the course. So this, the 120, 10, 13, section 10, 13. 
uh, you, you click on the uh, my, ma my Lab and Mastering. I always want to say My Math Lab, um, but the, the tab is labeled differently here. Um, and then if you have a previous Pearson account, you log in. If you don't, you'll create one and it, it should link up. So that's, that's the information there. Um, and with the homework, let's say with the, with the homework, usually what I, what I like to do is I like to have the homework do the weekend. So the Sunday at 11.59 PM after we finish lecturing on a specific section. So if we uh, finish the lecture on 1A this week, then it will be due this coming Sunday. If we start lecturing on 1B, but we don't finish 1B, then that won't be due this weekend, but will be due the next weekend, as long as we finish it then. So um, in general, that's when the homework will be due for these assignments. All right, let's go back here. I have to move some of these windows, sorry. <laughs> Since I have the chat, that's not showing up on your end, but it is here, so I have to move those windows. Okay, so that was homework. Makeup policy. So if you miss a class for any reason, you are responsible for all materials covered, announcements, and acquiring materials that may have been distributed. Well, <laughs> that this since it's remote, that will be on web campus. Anything that's distributed will be through web campus. Um, let's see. And again, I'm going to be recording these lectures uh, just in case there are any, any internet connectivity issues, either on my end or your end. That way you can go back and, and see the lecture if you missed it. Um, let's see. OK, uh, the rest of this, the um, when we are, when I, when I am uh, calculating final grades. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, I will be posting these. Uh, I'll probably create a page under each uh, week module that will have the lecture and the lecture notes. Um, so that's, that's where that will be found. I'm also going to be posting it on YouTube. So um, if you, when you click on the first video and click on YouTube, then it, should open my my uh, YouTube account, but it's going to be a mess of videos since I technology and I are not the best of friends. So, so uh, I fight with it sometimes. It's not very organized, but it will all be there as well. Um, but it will be definitely organized here on Web Campus. I think I will make a it's make its own page, uh, and and post the the video lectures and notes there. Um, when I'm calculating final grades, uh, this will occur. So the lowest two projects, mini projects, lowest two mini projects will be dropped. Um, the two lowest reading scores will be dropped. The three lowest homework checks will be dropped. Uh, dropped. Uh, there will be no, no accommodation for the main projects. Uh, yes, I have a question. Uh, yeah, um, you said, like, what do you mean when you said that the uh, scores will be dropped? Uh, right. So um, if we're going through, um, let's say there are 10 assignments, just hypothetically speaking. There are 10 assignments. And um, on two of the assignments, you got, uh, say, it was a bad week. You just didn't have time. You got a 70% and a 60%, and everything else is higher than that. Then those two will be dropped, and I'm going to calculate the average out of eight assignments instead of out of ten. So I'm dropping. So, the... basi so basically, if they were dropped, and that would make you like excuse for it, or? Uh, yeah, you can think of it that way. Yes, um, it will. You can think of it as as those being excused. It is going to um, increase your score, for sure. Ah. Uh, well as okay, long as, just... as long as your uh, scores are not all zero, then yeah, and it's so that's the two lowest uh, two lowest scores for the reading checks and the two lowest scores for the mini projects. Okay, just just curious. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that is a good question, 
Uh, so then the three lowest uh, homework scores. Let's see. I thought I saw a question here. Um, so when you are creating your account, um, I think you can use your personal email because I believe that when you are log when you're signing into it uh, here on Web Campus, you'll have to input that email and that password that you created. Um, but I wouldn't quote quote me on that. Uh, just to be safe, I would personally recommend using the the uh, Rebel Mail, but I believe the personal email should work. Okay, um, so projects. There's there's going to be no no uh, no project will be dropped because you can think of those as uh, as a you can think of the projects the main main theme projects as half of the test. So half of half of the test is the in class like sitting down, writing writing out the questions, circling your answer, submitting that, and the second half of the test is submitting this project that is related to the material. Uh, to check your understanding on that. Um, now, with the exam, so there will be three in-class exams, and there can be a grade replacement if your homework and reading check average is 80% or higher, and your final exam score is higher than your lowest in-class test score, then I replace your lowest in-class test score with the final exam score. Uh, but your, your homework and reading check average has to be 80% or higher. So uh, that gives you motivation to keep on top of your reading checks and homework. Let's see, for test days, uh, test days you will have the full hour and 15 minutes to complete the exam. Um, if you complete it before then, that's fine. But uh, so we won't we won't be meeting digitally on those days. You'll just have the exam to complete. Um, so again, you should. Uh, this is generally written out for in class, but it can apply to uh, working on on this remotely. You want to uh, uh, minimize the amount of clutter that you have. Uh, you're going to the only electronic device you're allowed to use is your calculator and whatever computer you have to enter the, the solutions. Um, so that's that information. Tutoring is available uh, through the Department of Mathematical Sciences, through the math department. Um, I believe that they are using uh, Zoom, or they used Zoom last semester for digital uh, tutoring. I believe that they will be doing that this semester as well. So as soon as I receive that information, I will post it on Web Campus. OK, let's go through some of these university policies. Um, academic integrity is a legitimate concern for every member of the campus community. Uh, we, all, we all share in upholding the fundamental values of honesty, trust, respect, fairness, responsibility, and professionalism. Um, so essentially, you know, don't don't cheat, uh, don't use other people's work as your own. Um, there is a there is a test on academic honesty uh, for this first module. So there is, and that that will have a lot of information. Um, so what you should not do, you should not uh, divide work or use another person's work as your own, whether it's a former student or. Uh, a tutor. So what you should do, what I would recommend doing is think of think of the homework and the quizzes as as a way to test your knowledge for the exam. Uh, think to yourself, all right, if I were if I were to sit down and this was on the exam, could I complete this question without my notes, without a book, without a calculator, and again, without any outside help and be able to finish it? And try to work through as much of that problem as you can. You might get stuck if you're, when you're on the homework, which is fine, then you can ask for help, but that will give you a good idea of, of what to focus your studies on. Uh, let's see. You have to take the test at the assigned class time. Uh, that is a good question. I think, 
I think what I'll do, because um, I think some of us are in different time zones since we're meeting remotely. I don't think, I think uh, some students uh, are not in Las Vegas right now. So I think what I think what we will do is the test will be available for 24 hours, but once you start it, it has to be done in one one sitting and done in one hour and 15 minutes. So let, uh, I think I'll do that, uh, but I'll let you know for sure um, as the test get, as the test time gets closer. Um, uh, may I ask a quick question about that testing? Um, uh, yes. Yes. After you complete, say it takes you the full hour and fifteen to complete the test. Yes. Will you allow us extra time to photograph and upload our our scratch work? Because oh yes. Uh, uh, Absolutely. So, so the photographing the scratch work that is not that should not be included in the test time. So, that is that is a good question. So, um, for the hour and fifteen, you should be just focusing on the questions on the exam, and then after that, um, then you should take a, uh, take pictures or scans of of your work and send that in. And um, let's say as long as you send it in within twenty four hours then I'll accept it. So it doesn't have to be right when you finish. And it's, it's definitely not in the hour and 15 uh, for the exam time. Uh, that is a good question. OK. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I will hopefully remember to mention all of this as the test gets closer when we get, when we get to that, that uh, first test. OK. Um, Next, public health directives is for classes that are meeting in person. Um, just be aware if you do have to go to campus um, that uh, you do have to wear a face covering. It, it is mandatory for any on-campus purposes. Um, academic misconduct. So again, uh, we, we share in, in upholding the fundamental values of honesty, trust, respect, fairness, responsibility, and professionalism. Uh, so if there is any academic misconduct, which is, you know, uh, plagiarizing or cheating, then we'll go through the uh, academic conduct um, process there. Auditing classes. Uh, if you're auditing a course, that is a possibility for students. Um, to participate in the class, but at the end of the semester, you won't be receiving a grade. So it's kind of like learning the material without the pressure of getting a grade. Um, so you can still come to the classes, take notes, uh, take the exams, but you will not receive a grade. Uh, so that's what auditing is. Uh, classroom conduct. So even though we are meeting remotely digitally, this is still a classroom. So just you know make sure you conduct yourself in a professional manner we are all here to learn so uh you know don't be a distraction to to uh either the instructor or your fellow uh classmates uh copyright i don't believe we'll have too many issues with copyright since we're not going to be writing any any essays in this course but that information is given here uh, the Disability Resource Center, the DRC, um, provides resources for students with disabilities. If you believe that you need academic accommodations due to injury, disability, or pregnancy, then any of those accommodations have to go through the DRC office. So if, uh, if you fit into that category, if you have an injury, disability, or pregnancy that you want to get accommodations for, then you should contact the DRC, the Disability Resource Center, as soon as possible and get that process started. Um, and uh, once you do, then the uh, specialists will, will tell you what options are available and will uh, send me an academic accommodations plan, which then will have any accommodations that you need for, for those, the injury, disability, or, or pregnancy. Um, and it is it is private and confidential, so it you know the only way anyone el anyone else would know about it is if you told them. So uh, that that information is there. Their contact information is here. They have uh, their uh, location room on campus is SSCA, 
uh, room 143. So that's the SSC building. I can't remember what that acronym is. Building A, uh, room 143. Or you can contact them, uh, find their contact information through their website or their telephone number here. Okay, final exams. So the, we're, we're doing the final exam according to the university schedule that is found online. Um, so again, that is, uh, let's scroll back up and remind ourselves when that is. That is Tuesday, May 11th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, scroll back down. Uh, so again, we're going to be using um, the web campus here. So if you've logged in, well, you should be able to log in and, and verify your identity that way. So that's that's how we will be doing that for these remote classes. Um, incomplete grades. Uh, so the incomplete grade, this, this information, um, incomplete grade is a very, uh, they have a very strict, um, what is the word I want to use there? Very strict requirements for giving for giving an incomplete. So uh, most of the time, ninety percent of the time, ninety five percent of the time, uh, probably the answer is going to be no. But if if a uh, if an event occurs uh, three fourths of the way through the course or more, um, something that happens that is that is not that is beyond the student's control, beyond your control then come to me and we can look at where everything is at and look at what the requirements are and see if you can qualify for an incomplete. Just be aware that is that it is very strict to meet those requirements. So the answer for like 90, 90%, 95% uh, when looking for an incomplete is no. Uh, but if, again, if something occurs that is beyond your control uh, that is when it is three fourths or later through the semester, uh, contact me and we'll look and see if you, you uh, meet the requirements for that. Um, library resources, there is library resources available, uh, but again, I'm, I'm going to leave that information for you guys to read since we're not, we're not looking at any um, essays here. I don't know, unless, uh, would, you guys, would you guys wanna do some essays? I'm guessing no. No, probably not. Right. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So we'll. we'll I uh, love writing. I wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> that's that's fair. We'll we'll leave the writing for the uh, for the main projects, and not worry about essays. But um, if you do have any other courses where you where you are writing essays, uh, that information can be found there as well. Excuse me. You said something about. Uh, Log, we have to log into something in, in web campus to prove that we are here today. Um, oh, um, I don't see where to do that. Not, not, not to prove that you're here, just to uh, prove your identity. But if you've logged into web campus, then we're good. So, well, as long as I, I logged right into, uh, well, I actually got through your link through the rebel mail for my phone because, okay. um, uh, it, the link on web campus doesn't uh, doesn't uh, have a link. It just has a bunch of letters and stuff, but it's oh. not made to, uh, doesn't have a hyperlink on web right. campus. Right, I forget that web campus does that. As long as you can log into web campus to access your homework, then that will verify your identity. So, okay. So, as uh, so I'll be looking at that. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, and so if you if you do have any um, any issues uh, logging into Web Campus, uh, I would just contact the IT department. Um, but as long as you can log in, then that that is that is the main uh, the main thing. Yeah, I can log with. into Web Campus. I just, just I couldn't link to Zoom from there. I just had to go to Zoom. Oh, I see. Okay. From your Rebel Mail because your Rebel Mail link worked, but the link in Web Campus did not work. I got it. Okay. Yep. So as long as you can log in, that's that's the main important thing. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, missed classwork. Uh, 
so if you're going to be if you're going to miss uh, class or classwork because of the observance of religious holidays, uh, you will have the opportunity to make up that work. You have to let me know within the first 14 calendar days, that is two weeks of the beginning of the course. Um, so you want to make sure that if you have a religious holiday that you'll be observing uh, this semester, let me know within the first 14 calendar days. And any homework uh, or work that is due on that day, we will uh, extend. Um, or if you are looking at official extracurricular activities through the university, um, then contact me as soon as you have that information and we can, again, we'll extend any any homework that is due that at that time on, on that day. Um, well, let's see. Next is Rebel Mail. So Rebel Mail is UNLV's official email system. Uh, and all of the instructors and staff and uh, students have Rebel Mail accounts. That's the uh, at unlv.nevada.edu. Or I think some of them are just um, at unlv.edu. Um, but any, any official correspondence has to go through that. If you send me an email uh, through any other email account, uh, generally the, the, unless it's a question like, are we meeting for class today? Generally the response you're going to get is, I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. Please send the question again through Rebel Mail. And all of the correspondences that you will get from me will come through come through the uh, email listed here on the first page of the uh, of the syllabus. That's the uh, B A R T L D one at unlv.edu uh, .edu, or through Web Campus or the My UNLV system. So any email that you receive um, from me will be through the one of those three things. And if it's not then that email is not for me. Uh, tutoring, I believe the Academic Success Center um, had tutoring last semester as well. I think they still have remote tutoring. Um, as soon as they send me that information, I will post it on web campus. Um, I think there are some other Yeah, I think this is mostly just on the Academic Success Center. So the Academic Success Center uh, also provides tutoring for for subjects. Um, and as soon as again, as soon as I receive that information from them, I will post it here on Web Campus. Uh, there is a writing center on on uh, campus. Uh, their information is here. Again, that's generally if you're looking at essays, writing essays, getting help with writing essays, things like that. So I'm not, I'm not going to go through that in detail, but uh, that is that it, their information is there in case you have uh, another course need that information. Uh, let's see. As an institution of higher learning, UNLV represents a rich diversity of human beings among its faculty, staff, and students, and is committed to aspiring to maintain a campus environment that values that diversity. Accordingly, the university supports understanding and appreciation of all members of its community, regardless of race, sex, age, color, national origin, ethnicity, creed, religion, disability, sexual orientation, gender, gender identity, marital status, pregnancy, uh, genetic information, veteran status, or political affiliation. Um, please see the university statement and compliance, which is found at this uh, website. A successful learning experience requires mutual respect and trust between the students and the instructor. Accordingly, the instructor asks that the students be willing to listen to one another's points of view, acknowledging that there may be disagreements. Uh, we want to keep the discussion and comments on topic and use first person positive language when expressing your perspectives, their perspectives. All right, and then one last, <laughs> one last go at this. Um, guidelines for courtesy and respect. I would like to welcome all students into an environment that creates a sense of community pride, courtesy, and respect. We are here to, uh, to work cooperatively and to learn together. In order to create a smooth and harmonious learning uh, community, please make every attempt to come to all class sessions. Uh, come on time and stay until the end of the meeting. 
Uh, there may be times you are unavoidably late for class. That is understandable. Um, I guess this next part is for in-person courses, so we'll skip that. It is important that we are all able to stay focused on the class lecture and discussion for this reason. Only one person at a time should be speaking. Um, again, that's not as uh, not as vital as uh, the in-person courses. As you can see, simple norms of courtesy should be sufficient to have our class run in the best interest of all. Any student considered to be a distraction to the learning environment may be asked to leave the classroom. Well, again, that's more vital to the in-person courses. Okay, so that is the syllabus. Uh, let me go back to the module here. There's a little bit more that I want to discuss. Um, the next document here under the course documents is the tentative schedule. So let's click on that. Uh, TR, that's Tuesday, Thursday. The um, R is generally used to abbreviate Thursday uh, for university, or at least all of the universities that I've been to, university courses. Um, so this is generally the, the tentative schedule that we will be going through. So uh, today, just the 19th of January is the entry on the syllabus. I don't think we're gonna have time to start the lecture as I had hoped, but that's all right. Um, so next class, we'll be starting section, uh, starting the lecture on section 1A. And then the uh, class after that next Tuesday will be 1C and 1D. Um, so this is the tentative schedule again, tentative because um, this this might change depending on how lectures go. If, if uh, everyone's getting the material and then the lectures go smoothly, then we might finish early with uh, some of the sections. If not, some of the sections might um, might have to be more than just what is stated here. Uh, but that is what the tentative schedule is for this course. Uh, if you do have to miss class, um, I would recommend checking the, the schedule to see what you miss. And also to check the lecture as I post it on, on web campus. Um, Let's see, there was one thing that I wanted to mention there, but my, my, uh, my thought went away. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, so again, the uh, student registration handout here, this is from the Pearson website for getting you uh, linked into the Pearson account through Web Campus. Um, so uh, you can either create your Pearson account through here, or if you have your Pearson account, you log in with that information. Uh, one more thing here, the uh, with the resources, um, I have a, there's a video here. This one is not by me. I'm going to go ahead and pause this as soon as it loads. Looks like it's already paused. Um, this is this is by Adam. Uh, I can never pronounce his last name, Kobke, I believe. He's an instructor here at UNLV, uh, and he has some pretty decent uh, decent way of going through this. He was kind enough to share his, uh, his video here. So this is using my math lab. Um, so it's just a YouTube video. He goes through the uh, information that can be found uh, there and, and navigating their website on Pearson. Um, I believe that he likes to use their um, their PowerPoint slides for his lectures. We won't be doing that in this course, but um, I believe he does mention that in his his video. Just be aware of that. Um, and if you need a different perspective or or more help, if you click on his name here, he has other other videos as well um, that we will be going uh, through the same material. So if you need a different perspective or just need more reinforcement, then that is there available as well. So that's the uh, the uh, using using my math lab link, and then the academic integrity quiz is basically just reading through the uh, the academic integrity policy for the university and saying I will be I will follow this this policy. Okay, so any questions up to this point?
And I do know that there there is sometimes a delay when you're streaming, so you might still be typing the question. So I'll keep my eye on chat. Um, but uh, again, welcome to welcome back to UNLV. If this is your first semester, welcome to UNLV. Um, I hope that you enjoy math uh, as much as I do. If not, that's all right. We can pretend. Um, I will be posting the other uh, modules for the for the various weeks as we go along. Uh, I just have to again. I I need to um, edit some of those from from last semester. So. Um, I believe, yeah, we, it's five o'clock. So are, are there any, are there any questions? Okay, so let's go ahead and, and, and in there, usually we'll go until 515. Um, but for this first day, since we're going through the syllabus, let's just end there. Uh, what you should do if you have not already is, uh, get your Pearson account set up and linked onto Web Campus. Um, uh, oh, I just lost what I was gonna ask. Um, do we have assignments due this week or, or homework or whatever? Um, at the moment, I'm thinking we will probably have section 1A, the reading check and the homework due. Um, I think the I think the due dates are wrong on Pearson. I have to remember to change those. But um, as of right now, since we didn't start lecturing on the material today, then there's no homework due as of now. Um, but we should, I believe, we will finish section one A on Thursday, and if we do, that will be due this weekend. The homework for one A and the reading check. Um, so, I, so uh, to answer your question. <laughs> Uh, it depends on how far we get in lecture on Thursday. If we finish 1A, then there will be homework due this weekend. If not, there won't be. Oh, except for, sorry, there is one, that, uh, the academic inter integrity quiz is due this week, uh, this weekend. So hopefully that uh, answered that question. Okay, uh, thank you. Um, um, yes. Oh, sorry. I just had a quick question about something. Um, so for the, when I'm looking at the My Math Lab assignments, it says the due date for a reading check 1A and 1C is the 24th, but it also says 1D. And is that what you're talking about? The dates are wrong? Yeah, those assignments, those those uh, due dates are wrong. I need to fix those. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was just so, clarifying on that one. Uh, Yep. Yep. So um, you'll see uh, when you log in, there should be, there should be two different ones. There'll, there'll be one that says reading check and one that says homework. Yeah. 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 It says yeah. Right okay. Here. So, um, I'm going to keep those together. So if we finish 1A this week, then we will have um, the homework and the reading check for 1A due this weekend. But right. everything else will be later. So I need to uh, I need to fix those due dates. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so the academic integrity quiz is located in the course introduction module here on Web Campus. Uh, just scroll down, it's right at the very bottom. It's the last thing on that module. Okay, and the other stuff is all on the My Math Lab once you get your account situated with Pearson. Yes, yeah, so so all of the all of the homework and reading checks will be on My Math Lab. Um, the mini projects uh, will be here on on the modules. So I'll point those out as we go along. Um, kind of like this academic integrity. So I guess the academic integrity quiz is our is our mini mini project for this week. Um, but they will be on, on the web campus, but everything else uh, should be through either Pearson or will be uh, directly here on, on web campus. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Um, any other questions before I let you guys go? And again, I do know if you're, if you're typing a question, that's fine. There is a little bit of delay, so I'll keep my eye on chat for a little bit here. Okay, uh, so we will end there. I'm going to go ahead and let me uh, click that. Let me stop the recording. Where is that?